It really is about LSS walking with people as they put together the pieces of their life. I am always inspired by the stories of the people we serve. They are the ones that really um, help me get up in the morning and help me continue to do my job. My name is Ian Simantis. I live in... What's it called? George's Place? George's Place. Fox Ridge Road, Minnesota, St. Paul. We have um, what a, a lot of people call group homes, adult foster care homes, and up to four individuals live in each home, and they share common area space, but each have their own bedroom. I didn't get sick. I didn't have, I have the virus, but I didn't get sick. Healthy heroes are people who are volunteering to come in when we have a COVID positive site. I did not anticipate that I would be a healthy hero. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was possible. I did think I it was, was possible. I wasn't in total denial. I thought it was possible. <laughs> Three of us came in and stayed for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It was, it was early Sunday morning. Yes. It was early Sunday morning and Sandy called me and said, the staff are unable to stay. There's nobody else to go in. I'm packing my bag. And I said, <laughs> and then, and I said, so am I. Mm -hmm. Yep, pretty much. In the car we pretty went. Much. Yeah. Yes. We spent nine days with Ian. We had a lot of great conversations about um, COVID, what it means. He was very scared. I don't want to die. He was scared of getting sick because he was COVID positive. All senior leaders were on the phone with us in a meeting, figuring out what our next steps were. You know, our, even our CEO gave us a call. We had so much support from other lines of service. You know, I mean, it was just a, a lot of support from a lot of different people within the organization. Being a healthy hero, you don't know what you're walking into. You don't know how sick people are going to get. We were living it. We were able to report on a daily basis to the leadership team, like what we need, what you know, everything that was happening, so that so that um, our plans for the next home or the next home were all um, in place. You don't know if anybody's going to die because it's new. We don't know what this virus is is all about. I, I think our organization has a, a lot of experience. Um, reacting to situations and making sure that we can um, you know just just pack a bag pick up anything for such a time as this means that we all have to come together we all have to really focus on what we can do to help others not only the people that we support but our co-workers our families and we just need to be there for each other.